See, when I said cinematography, look at that. Look at the beautiful lighting, cinematography. So relaxing, so peaceful. The fun part, the wine. Tell Gordon Ramsay, please. Uh, you put the wine. For, oh, are oh, you drinking the wine? What you're doing right now is priceless. It's really, really fantastic. It's beautiful. Look how thick. Look how rich. Is there need to put Parmigiano now, my friends? A bit too early, I think. It's got the butter. What are you using the butter for? Oh, it's making bechamel sauce. Look at that, look at that. Look how precise this guy is. Oh my God. It takes 100 hours just to be so precise. Wow, 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 wow. Hi, and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate, the place where we react to 100 hour lasagna. Can you believe it? How long does it take to make a lasagna? It must be the best lasagna in the universe. So this video is by a great channel, Alvin Tzu, great cinematographer. He doesn't have many videos, but he is so good that he turns everyone into a subscriber. Now, this video, 100 hour lasagna, got more than 6 million views. Insane, insane. So let's watch it together and see if it deserves all these views. See, when I said cinematography, look at that. Look at the beautiful lighting, cinematography. So relaxing, so peaceful. He doesn't talk like me. You know, like he's not annoying, not disturbing. It's just got the music there, the sound. And you just want to play this in the background because it makes you feel relaxed. He's got the celery there. He has the celery over there. It makes me so happy. He's making bolognese sauce with the celery. That's a sofrito, onion, celery and carrots. Tell this to Gordon Ramsay, please. He's making the meat sauce first and he's apologizing. I don't understand. Why are you apologizing? You're doing the right thing. Oh, you're cooking the meat first. I didn't understand. Why are you cooking the meat first? I don't want to say anything wrong to you, my friend, but you need to cut the meat. Means, which you can buy from the butcher. But what kind of lasagna are you doing here? I mean, it's a, it's a big job. I don't know. I'm interested to see. Uh, you're very good. Why? Wow, you got the bones there, so the extra flavors are in there. Great. Okay, all right, now you use the same pot, you got pancetta. Okay, I, li I like the pancetta in the bolognese. I'm a big fan, I really like the pancetta, it gives a beautiful kick. Now he's actually cooking the onions, the celery, which is a lot by the way, you're using a lot of celery, carrots and onion, but that's okay. Cooking with pancetta. I would have cooked that together with the pancetta. You cooked the pancetta before, but that's okay. Oh no, my friend, wait for the tomato paste. Just cook the carrots first. But that's okay. The fun part, the wine. Tell Gordon Ramsay, please. Uh, you put the wine for... Oh, are you drinking the wine? Oh, you're not using the wine to cook? That's smart. <laughs> that's very good. Oh, you're using some. Not too much. Eh? Keep, keep that's a good wine. See, the wine gives the flavor to the beautiful sauce. Okay? I do need to say one thing, okay? The reason why you put the wine in your sauce is to give the flavor to the meat. In this case, you got the pancetta, the carrots, that's okay, you're giving flavor to that. Yeah, that's fine, I understand. But if you actually add the meat in the pot, you're really giving the best flavors that you can to this sauce, okay? Just try it next time. I know what you want to do here. I know everyone wants to do what they want and do whatever you want. But if you really add the wine to the meat, you bring the best flavors out of the meat. The carrot doesn't need the wine. See, now you're adding the sauce. Hopefully the wine evaporated. Okay, now you're adding the meat. So you basically, I know what you're trying to do here. You're trying to cook the meat so it comes off the bone. Oh wow, it goes in the oven. Hmm, different way to make sauce. Uh, look, he's talking to the food, he's making, you know, he's enjoying talking to the food and I really appreciate that. Now, this is Friday at 8 p.m. How long has it been? It's night time. That meat is probably coming off the bone and it's sensational. I don't want to make lasagna, I just want to have it the way it is. Ooh, look at that. Look at that pot. Wow, wow. 
because you're using cast iron in the oven, basically the cast iron has a with the, the lid of the cast iron is a system that keeps the food moist. See, the bone comes off, it's like pull, pull made. I understand now why you're doing this process. I just wish you added the red wine in the meat, but this is beautiful what you're doing. I don't want to say anything, probably I regret what I said before, because what you're doing right now, it's priceless. It's really, really fantastic. I've done something like this with the chicken, Pasta, yeah, I mean the chicken pasta, but I did cook the chicken with the carrots and onion and celery. This is beautiful, look how thick, look how rich. Oh, wow, why Alden, why Alden? Oh, is the need to put parmigiano now, my friends? A bit too early, I think. You don't really put the parmigiano in the sauce. I don't know who told you this, but you put the parmigiano in the layers, yeah? It's a bit too early, my friend. Can I say one thing? Cheese makes people happy. <laughs> so use as much as you want, whenever you want. But I will choose pecorino. Mm. What's going on here? My brain is very dark here. I'm going to go to sleep. What have you done there? I don't understand. Right, okay. So what you're doing here, you are leaving the sauce in the fridge to set. I understand because I agree with you. I always like the pasta the day after when I warm it up. Because the ingredients combine together. Wow, from Friday to Sunday, you're gonna have a nice Sunday lunch, let me tell you. He's got the pecorino there, he's got the butter. He's got the butter. What are you using the butter for? Oh, he's making bechamel sauce. He's making bechamel sauce. He's not using the ricotta like everyone does in America. Say, I love bechamel sauce in the lasagna. Actually, in Bologna, they make bechamel sauce for the lasagna. They don't put cheese. The original, original Bolognese lasagna doesn't have any cheese, which I personally find it sad. <laughs> I want the mozzarella in my, and the parmigiano in my Bolognese. Uh, but they put so much bechamel that you don't really miss it because it's creamy and it's beautiful, right? But put pecorino and mozzarella in my lasagna, please. Wow, oh, this guy is making fresh pasta. Sensational. Wow. Look at those beautiful eggs. Look at that. You know, you're only using yolks. I see lots of people doing this. I don't get why you do that. But my nonna always uses the entire egg and she makes the best pasta. Like, the entire egg is so much better. You don't try out the white. You really need the entire eggs because you measure 100 grams of flour with one egg. So every egg, you need 100 grams of flour. I don't understand why you do this, but you're not the first one. I'm, I believe you've been confused by other people that do this. See, the dough looks darker because of the egg yolks. And I understand, it's all about the color, the look, but honestly, if you use good eggs, you don't need to do that. The pasta machine, I like it. Now, when you make pasta, what you do is, the way you do it, is that you start, by pressing like he's doing now. You don't need a rolling pin. You don't need a rolling pin. You just need to press, make it flat, and then the pasta machine, the setting of the pasta machine should be wide. From the wide, you start, and you pass it through two to three times. You get rid of the hair in there. Oh, that's a good pasta machine, Imperia. That's my nonna's machine. And then you go to the setting, see, you keep going, keep going, until you get that. So it's very long, silky, smooth, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful pasta, right? That's beautiful, really, really nice. Now he's extending it, he's making it even longer. Beautiful. I mean, how can you go wrong with the homemade lasagna sheets? The sad part about this is that you need to cook the lasagna sheets. I've made it before, uh, a few times actually, without cooking the lasagna sheets. Did I mind it? No, but it was a little bit chewy. So you do need to cook the pasta in, in boiling water because it gives you a better experience, okay? So he's doing a very good job here. Perfection, look how perfect his uh, uh, lasagna sheets are. Now he's putting butter on top, or is it extra virgin olive oil? Okay, um, I guess it helps not to get stuck. All right, it's time to assemble, beautiful. So now we got the sauce. First, look how thick it is. And that sauce has got like pulled beef, you know? It's beautiful. I look really good. Look looks really good. Just want to see inside. Show me the inside, please, Alan. 
Yeah, look, look how rich it is. Now it's time to put the bechamel, the pecorino, the cheese. Yeah, 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 go crazy, go crazy. Beautiful, beautiful, yeah. Now you put more. Where is the mozzarella? I mean, you're doing a Bolognese style, I get it. But put, put some mozzarella, please. Don't put the mozzarella on top. Don't put the pecorino on top. Mmm. Look at that, look at that. Look how precise this guy is. Oh my God. It takes 100 hours just to be so precise. Wow, 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 wow. Fantastic. This is the top layer. Oh, you got one more, you got more space there. Oh, that's a top layer bechamel. Wow, my friend. You are on another level, my friend. You are on another level. It's, it's missing the cells on top. It's a bit sad, I would say, but you are on another level. How long are you gonna wait now? More? My God, it's taking forever this, for this lasagna. I hope you don't drop it on the floor. Oh God. Excuse me, me stress. I'm hungry on Tuesday. Oh, Tuesday 4 p.m. Oh, oh, did that grow? Looks like it grew. Okay, he's got one hour before he sees his friends. Okay. I'm glad you booked your friends a week in advance. Now, that looks great. Are oh, you putting cheese on top? See, that's something I don't wanna see. I want you to put the cheese inside, not on top, Alvin. Put the cheese inside. And on top, you need to put the sauce and the bechamel. Not the cheese. No, that cheese is gonna burn. See? The cheese is burning. I know lots of people like to burn cheese. Pasta's for, no, I get it. But on lasagna, I don't wanna burn my cheese. Look at that. Oh, wow. Well, see, the edges are burned. Mmm. Way too burn. I mean, you're not meant to burn the edges of the lasagna. Pasta for, no, yes. But look how burned it is. It's not a pizza, my friend. If you put the sauce everywhere, you don't burn the pasta. The pasta sheet is not meant to burn. Looks nice, looks very nice. The first slice always breaks. Let's see, this guy's so precise. Oh my God, I don't know how he does it. My one always breaks, look at this. Look how good it looks. Oh, it looks beautiful. Oh, it looks fantastic, it looks fantastic. Your friends, are going, your friends are going to love you, look at that. Look how moist. Beautiful. Oh, I wanna see you eating it, please. Oh, extra cheese. You need more cheese in the inside. Oh, look at that. Look at that, oh, fantastic. Not many mistakes, not many mistakes, no, no, no. But that sauce on top, my friend? Yes, please do it next time. You wait 100 hours to eat it. Put the sauce on top. Look how beautiful, look how perfect. Look how perfect this is. Thank you, Alvin, a round of applause, you've done a great job. Show Gordon Ramsay how to make it next time. And thank you so much for creating this incredible channel. You are an inspiration and I learned so much from your videos, your camera angles, your lighting. It's just priceless. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate reaction video. Thank you.